Hello everyone, we are the Financial Managers Group and we are going to discuss our research proposal entitled The Effects of Financial Stress and Social Demographic Factors on Academic Performance of College Students in Palawan. And I am Elaine Joy B. Tumas. I am the one to discuss our research introduction. So let's get started. Over the last few decades, Higher education financing has changed dramatically. Consequently, the cost of college has outpaced the inflation rate forcing students and parents to shoulder the development in increased costs of college. And because of this, average students tend to suffer and are vulnerable because they have a low income and assets to support them. Also, the study shows that college students' families that can barely afford their costly expenses and universities and need a financial support are those considered that experience financial difficulty. Money is important to everyone as it, it helps us to provide our basic needs in our daily life and the needs of our family. And because of that, all of us aim to become a financially stable in life. Usually, to be a financially stable the one goes to school and study so that in the future we'll have a job and earn a money for ourselves and our family. But what if parents don't have enough money to provide to go to school and buy the things need for school? What should one do? How does it affect them? A study by Persuade and Nadini 2015 have proven that the vital effects of financial stress play in the lives of every student. This leads to the reason why students drop out of school because they suffer from financial stress and somehow leads to a poor academic performance. According to the study, gender and race are also one of the factors related to financial stress among college students. So, our research ob objectives is to examine the effects of financial stress and social demographic factors on academic performance of college students. Also, to clarify the demographic variables of financial stress that needs to be addressed off. Next, to provide answer for every statement of the problem. Lastly, this study aims to build off previous works and fill the gaps. Julian Marie Alasco and I am the next presenter. I will present to you the literature review of our study. So financial stress is defined as the inability to meet or to provide someone's financial obligation. It can include psychological and emotional effect to the people who are suffering from it. According to the previous research, financial stress is one of the reasons why college students are stressed that lead them to drop out from school. Since pagdating ng college, dito nila na-realize yung financial burden na nanggagaling sa cost ng kanilang education from tuition, health expense, pagbili ng books, and other school expense. Also, it lead them to have poor academic performance in school. It not only affect their academic performance but also their mental and physical conducted with the purpose to identify the financial stress among undergraduate college students, also to know if socio-demographic variables like age, gender, and income level has an influence to it. This study will focus on knowing the relationship between academic performance and financial stress, academic performance as the dependent variable and financial stress as the independent variable aim to fill the gaps of the previous studies by following the suggested research direction from the previous researcher. One, from Baker and Montalto, suggested that we include socio-demographic variables like age, gender, and income level to have a deeper analysis of the relationship between academic performance and financial stress. Through this, we will know if socio-demographic variables can influence the effect of financial stress on the student academic performance. Second, since the previous studies had a narrow range of respondents because some of them only conducted their research to one university only, Shannon et al. and Baker et al. suggested that the next researcher should have a wider range of respondents. To fill that gap, we will conduct a research to different universities in Palawan like Holy Trinity University and Palawan State University to have a wider range of respondents. 
definitely want to contribute new knowledge in this topic by filling those research gaps from the previous research. Also, we hope that our research study can contribute toward providing evidences that financial stress is a great factor that affects student academic performance. By the end of this study, we aim to reach out to the professor and let them know that financial stress affects student academic performance, that they should be more considerate to their students. Lastly, this study can be beneficial to the future researcher since it can serve as their references. Hello everyone, I'm Alisa Canino and I will be presenting the statement of the problems. So, here are the questions or issues that our research will address. First, does financial stress affect the academic performance of the students? Second, what are the effects of financial stress to academic performance of undergraduate students in, in universities in Palawan? The last one, do the following sociodemographic variables like age, gender, and income level influence the effects of financial stress on students' academic performance? So, next one is the significance of the study. The first one is to the institution. The study may help the universities or institutions to improve and to address the effect of financial stress in the academic performance of their students in order for them to take action and give solutions to the problems. Next is to the teachers. This study could be an additional aspect to look upon by the teachers or by the professors so that it will give them the knowledge that the effects of financial stress could be a hindrance to the student's positive academic performance and for them to be more considerate about the students. Next is to the parents. When the students know how to budget and be more responsible in spending their allowances, it will also give benefits to their parents because it will lessen the burdens of the parents about the financials. So the next one is to the students. This study will give efficient knowledge regarding the financial stress and how it will affect their academic performances. It is expected that by identifying the effect of financial stress, the study can provide solutions for the students that are experiencing these financial difficulties and it will give them the knowledge on how to handle it. The last one is to the future researchers. The study can help them to understand more about the financial stress that are experienced by the students and how it affects their academic performances. It will also be beneficial for them because it, this will serve as reference for the future researchers. Today, this is Claire Angelique Di Mariscal and I will present the Chapter 3 of the study, which is the Conceptual Framework. But before that, I, am, I will give to you the definition of each of our variables. First is financial stress. Financial stress is the perception of the students if they are experiencing financial difficulty and if are they uh, greatly affected by it or not. Second, academic performance. This is the student's school performance which will be measured by their general weighted average. Third, family income. This is the average uh, collective family income of the student which will be from the members of the family. Fourth, age. This is the current age of the student when the study is conducted. Fifth is sex. This is the biological assignment of the student at birth. For the explanation, you can see on the screen that our independent variable is financial stress and it is, and it is arrowed to the dependent variable which is academic performance. This is linked to the hypothesis one which is there is a significant relationship between financial stress and academic performance. Next is, on the lower part, you can see that the moderating variables 
are connected to the arrow connecting the two the independent and dependent variable, which means there is a significant relationship between financial stress and academic performance, considering that the moderating variables, family income, age, and sex, are in between. Now, let's proceed to the background and hypothesis. For hypothesis 1, it states that there is a significant relationship between financial stress and academic performance. For this hypothesis, the first study and the main foundation is the Baker and Maltalto study about financial stress and student loan debt and the implication of it to academic performance. In this theory, it is stated that there are levels of financial stress which is low, moderate, and high. The study found out that higher the level of the financial stress, the higher the impact it has on students' academic performance. In addition, Britt et al. Et al. stated that the students' perception of their well-being influenced the level of stress. They also stated that students who reported that they have more control over their life have more likely to manifest low financial stress. This is parallel to Peltz et al. findings which discuss the family socioeconomic status and the student's perception of their financial situation are associated with the risk of financial strain. Furthermore, Nora et al. and Northern et al. stated that financial stress may reduce college students' cognitive resources and academic engagement, which affects their academic performance. In relation to this, previous researches showed students with higher financial stress are prone to negative outcomes related to their studies such as reduced grades and leaving college. Next hypothesis is there is a significant relationship between financial stress and academic performance of students considering the following social demographic variables which are age, sex, and family income. In this hypothesis, this is uh, the foundation of this is the research findings of Baker and Maltalto and Maltalto, Heckman, and Letquiz. Research findings show that race and gender have significant effects on academic performance because of variation of financial stress depending on the social economic factors. In addition, Peltz et al. findings discussed about family socioeconomic status making education pursuits of low economic family and first generation student to most likely be affected as they are passive as they are positively have more high levels of financial stress that's all and next is methodology hello everyone so i will discuss the methodology of our study First is the research locale. So the researchers will conduct the study in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan through an online platform by sending out the survey questionnaire to the student's email account. The schools involved in the study are Palawan State University Main Campus, Western Philippines University, Puerto Princesa City Campus, Holy Trinity University, Fulbright College, and AME. For our research design, since our purpose is to examine if there's really a significant relationship between the financial stress and students' academic performance through the demographic variables, we, the researchers, will use a quantitative research design to gather numerical data that is needed for our study. For the target respondents of the study, we will gather information from willing to participate students from five different colleges and universities in Puerto Princesa City. And the reader researchers will gather data from a total sample size of 600 students. And since one of our variable is gender, we will have an equal participant in both gender, which have a total of 200 male students and 300 female students from first year to fourth year. So each university will have uh, 120 participants and 30 from each year level. Research instrument to be used. So the researchers will use a replicated with self-formulated questionnaires that contains an 18-item cache to gather numerical data. So the collected questionnaires from college 
Student Financial Literacy Survey and the Development, Evaluation, and Validation of a Financial Stress Scale for Undergraduate Students article by Northern et al. were compiled to formulate the questionnaire. For the proposed statistical instrument of the data, um, to investigate the and test the objective and hypothesis of the study, the correlation of the variables will be measured using two statistical tools, which are the t-test and the regression analysis. The t-test will be used to determine the factors of financial stress and the regression analysis will be used to examine the relationship of financial stress to the student's academic performance. That would be all. Thank you.